Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Learning with Lloyd. Uh, today we're going to be covering how to back up your Windows QT wallet. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to bring you over here. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. Uh, so since we have a little bit of news going on this week, um, I do want to uh, maybe just cover that real quick. We'll try that out and see how that goes uh, before I get into the uh, main topic. Um, do want to point this out. Look at this little green shield here. I'm going to hover over that. It says this domain has been verified by MetaCert. MetaCert is a uh, pretty revolutionary anti-phishing uh, ransomware software that not only blocks the bad guys uh, that we know about, but it also tells you when you're on a legit site. So if you follow the link, uh, you should be looking for a green shield. So that's pretty cool. Recommend checking them out. Um, but anyway, let's uh, on the Verge website, we're going to click on Resources and Zendesk. We're going to go to General and News, and we're going to come down to Verge Development and Marketing Updates. I'll tell you what, every time I look at this list, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, we've put out a lot of information over the past year, mostly developers, so thank you guys. Uh, anyway, I'm going to click on uh, the marketing update that was released today. Desolator took some time and wrote this for us. So, uh, you know, it's a pretty long article. There's a lot of uh, interesting information in there. A uh, couple of highlights. We are now active on PaySent. Uh, so that's one highlight. Uh, second, we have partnered with Ganja.com uh, and they've set up a uh, separate website, xvg.ganja.com landing page. Uh, but they are a uh, CBD um, products manufacturer and reseller. Um, and um, if you go over there and shop with Verge, you get a 20% discount, so that's pretty great. Just giving a shout out to Now Payments, uh, big, huge supporters of ours, uh, and uh, some esports updates by uh, Night Shadow, uh, working on uh, Verge University. Um, pretty excited about uh, some possibilities with that. And uh, then. Uh, Another big uh, couple of things here. Uh, Justin went on the Larry and Joe show on Tuesday. You can find that on Larry and Joe's YouTube. Uh, pretty good show. Pretty good stuff to listen to. He was talking about Ganja a lot on that, as well as uh, Paysent. Uh, you know, and Paysent's pretty interesting. Uh, or you know, it's a pretty pretty big announcement. We're live on their platform now, so you can actually create a Paysent account, uh, get one of their credit cards. Um, and uh, load your Verge up on the Paysent app and then use that app to load it onto your Paysent credit card and you can actually go to an ATM and withdraw cash or you can use it anywhere. MasterCard, UnionPay, Discover um, is accepted, so that's pretty cool. And then we had an article come out from datingnews.com kind of thinking about the privacy aspects of uh, using Verge um, with uh, dating sites, uh, not that any that we know of are using us right now, um, but a pretty interesting, very uh, thorough uh, article. So anyway, we'll jump in. Uh, so what we're going to cover today, real simple, uh, but it's not real prevalent to a lot of people, um, is um, how do you back up your, your wallet um, data? when you're using a Windows machine, uh, using the Windows QT wallet. So the answer to that is, it doesn't matter where the actual executables for the wallet live on your PC. Um, all the magic happens in your app data slash verge folder. Um, app, specifically app data roaming slash verge. Um, so that is specific to user accounts too. So don't let that trip you up. Just kind of a side note on that. If you have a computer you use multiple user accounts on. If you have your wallet set up on one user account, uh, you'll log into another user account on that same PC, uh, which is using a completely different app data directory, and you won't see any coins, your wallet won't be synced, um, it will create a new address, so don't let that confuse you. 
um, if um, uh, you know if that happens to you, just log back out, and log back in under the original account uh, that you were using. Um, but the shortcut to get into that, uh, to get into that directory, if you type it into your Cortana search box in Windows 10, or even if you right-click on the Start button and click Run, the shortcut to get to exactly where you need to go is a, a percent app data percent forward slash verge. That's where your wallet files are. That's where all the blockchain data is, all of the um, block indexes, all that good stuff lives in that directory. Um, but just for reference, uh, if you needed to get to it, um, let's say you're Let's say you had a user account that got corrupted or something like that and you needed to get to it. So that would actually be in users, your username, slash uh, app data, slash roaming, slash verge. That's, uh, that's the actual physical uh, file location for that. But we don't need that if we want to get to it because Windows has these uh, little shortcuts. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to right click on the start button, click run. You'll see there I type it in and hit OK. That's going to pop up with this box. I kind of got that hidden there so you can't see my username. But uh, this is where all, th this is what you'll see in your uh, Verge um, app data directory. And this file right here is what you need to be most concerned with, your wallet.dat file. You can take that wallet.dat file and copy that to a, to a thumb drive or a USB stick or uh, somewhere very secure uh, because that's all you need to access everything about your addresses and your funds and all your history uh, with, with a uh, Verge wallet. So, um, Please, 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 after you install Windows QT, back that file up. Um, and you can take that back up and plop that into this directory on any Windows machine in the world, run the wallet, and all of your stuff will be there. So that's it. Um, Wallet.dat in the percent app data percent forward slash verge directory. That's what you're most concerned with. If you back that up and keep that file, your funds will be safe and you'll be able to access them even if you lose your computer, as long as you have a copy of that file. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great weekend um, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, guys.